You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. I'm back. Rodriguez for Black and White Sports. Well, we knew the fallout of the John Gruden email leaks, and more importantly, the 650,000 emails involving the Washington football team, the WFT, or in the case of what's going on in the NFL, the WTF. Well, we had a feeling more fallout was going to happen from that. And this one is big. It's really big. Because this one brings to light, I think, something we all suspected, we all knew. Not everybody is on board in the NFL with the NFL going full-blown woke. And now, and the emails have been, uh, have been brought to light that exposes high-level people with the NFL blatantly making fun of things like the Rooney Rule. That, of course, that BS rule that tells uh, NFL teams that they have to do one token black uh, candidate job interview, which is ridiculous. Everybody should get interviewed based on their actual high, uh, actual qualifications to do a job, right? We all know that. Uh, but the Rooney Rule is celebrated across, well, across the league publicly, but behind closed doors, not so much. And there are some other things that are brought to light here about the fact that people involved in the NFL didn't like the fact that there was a Democratic hire as opposed to uh, giving an independent, a libertarian, or a Republican a chance to be in a certain position with the NFL. Let's get to this because this is wild. This is wild. The NFL's top lawyer, Jeff Pash, brokered penalty traded diversity jokes in emails with ex-WFT president Bruce Allen. A new round of email leaks shows a personal relationship between NFL general counsel Jeff Pash and ex-Washington football team president Bruce Allen that included jokes about the league's diversity efforts and brokering of a league fine, New York Times reported Thursday night. The report revealed emails exchanged between the two from 2009 to 2018 amid a multitude of team scandals and prior to a league investigation into workplace misconduct. Pash later oversaw Beth Wilkinson, the attorney who was hired to investigate sexual harassment claims against the franchise per the report. Among the exchanges includes a discussion that preceded the recovation of a league fine of the team, according to the report, in 2013, the NFL fined the franchise $15,000 when then-coach Mike Shanahan was found to have doctored an injury report in violation of league policy. I think that probably happens a lot more than uh, a lot more than that's made public. When the league denied Allen's appeal of the fine. He responded in an email that included Pash and other league offense officials. B.S. Bullshit. Pash wrote back to Allen that the team needn't pay the $15,000 or, quote, any other amount in respect to this matter. You should consider the fine rescinded It's in, in its entirety. Wow, Jeff Pash just covered Bruce Allen's bases as he overruled his staff to rescind the fine. In another exchange where Allen wrote that he was concerned the commissioner, Roger Goodell, would accuse him of breaking rules regarding free agent signings, Pash responded, he knows who it is and that is not you. Okay, so I guess uh, Goodell was gunning for somebody he thought had free agent violations, but it was not Bruce Allen. Now this is where it gets really interesting. The Times also reports that the two traded jokes about the NFL's diversity efforts and team efforts to attract Latino fans. Quote, I'm not sure this song will be as popular after the wall gets built. Jeff Pash wrote to Allen after Allen emailed him a song meant to appeal to Latino fans. 
Pash also appeared to align with Allen's fight against changing the team's former nickname. That's a racial slur for Native Americans. He's talking about Redskins. You know, the name that I literally do not know one Native American that is offended by it. Allen sent an an article about U.S. Senator Maria Cantwell's former high school that also had a mascot using Native American imagery. Cantwell was a vocal critic of the Washington nickname. So Maria Cantwell, the senator, was going after the Redskins to get them to quit using the name when coincidentally they found out her high school mascot was in fact a Native American uh, a Native American image and they found that to be funny. Pash responded to the article, quote, no way. That's too good to be true. <laughs> oh, God. Somewhere Roger Goodell is having literal birth of kittens this morning. Allen complained to Pash about 2016 NFL hiring of Jocelyn Moore as the league's chief lobbyist on Capitol Hill, per the report. Moore is black and a Democrat. Quote, curious. Is there a rule against hiring libertarians, independents, or even a Republican? Question mark. Allen wrote to Pash. Pash responded, no, but it can sometimes look that way. Allen replied, we have the Rooney rule, so I'm going to propose a Lincoln rule at the next meeting. The Rooney rule is the NFL rule requiring uh, candidates to, of course, jump in and grab uh, a a, uh, black candidate for a worthless interview, uh, not based on hiring qualifications at all. We talked about that. Uh, Pash reassured Allen, amid the Washington football team scandals, when the team was embroiled in a scandal involving harassment and a topless photo shoot of cheerleaders, Posh wrote to Allen, I know that you are on it and would not condone something untoward, Times reports. Allen was found to have shared a topless photo of Washington cheerleaders in a previous leak that led to John Gruden's resignation from the Raiders. When Allen expressed concern to Pash over a penalty of Washington breaking the league's roster spending limit, Pash assured Allen that he was, quote, not blowing you off. He said then he referenced Allen's gift of a Hooters VIP card, according to Times. Still talking internally about this, I'm not making any promises as to the outcome, but I can assure you I am not blowing you off. We may not see this the same way he wrote in a follow-up but that does not change my respect or affection for you after all nobody else has given me a hooters gift card (laughs) god oh this is so funny pash also donated a thousand dollar to allen's brother george allen's u.s senate campaign in 2012 the nfl's response nfl executive vice president of communication jeff miller Defended Pash in a statement to the Times. Communication between league office employees and club executives occurs on a daily basis. Jeff Pash is respected and a high-character NFL executive. Any effort to portray these emails as inappropriate is misleading or patently false. Neither Allen nor Pash responded to the Times' request. And they go on to talk about how this is part of the 650,000 emails. I'm going to tell you what's funny, though. They're making diversity jokes and shit like that while John Gruden's in the unemployment line. And the NFL releases a statement saying, any attempt to misconstrue Jeff Pash's statements in these emails is just unwarranted. Well, wait a minute now. You said that John Gruden's statements were warranted, and then you chased him down. You hunted him like a dog in the street and forced, essentially forced John Gruden to resign. But this guy makes statements and it's all good? Man, what did we say the other day in a video about the NFL's hypocrisy? Tampa Bay's hypocrisy. We'll pull you out of the ring of honor while Warren Sapp's beating women. Great. Okay. Well, this is crazy. 
but it exposes 100% validity to what we have said since this channel really and truly started, and we got in, involved with trying to bring this kind of shit to light. The fact that there are a ton of people involved with these sports organizations, sports leagues, that don't agree with the wokeness that these organizations and sports leagues are pushing. Okay, it's very obvious. Jeff Pash and Bruce Allen were not on board with the Redskins changing their name. They thought it was ridiculous, so they made fun of the senator that was pushing to have the change done. Okay, trying to reach out to Latino fans, made fun of that too. And then the, the, the uh, NFL makes a diversity hire with Jocelyn Moore, and it's clear Pash and Bruce Allen were not on board with that either. And they blatantly called the NFL out for leaning towards a Democrat in the hiring. I think that's funny. I do. Um, wow, this is big. And I don't know where this is going, where this is ultimately leading for the NFL. But boy, I'm starting to wonder, will Roger Goodell survive this? Because DeMora Smith, the, the, the president of the PA, wants all of this stuff out, the head attorney. He wants all these emails to come out. And uh, several other entities are pushing for all the emails to come out. This whole thing could blow the league up. And I'm here for it. I'm here to watch it. I want to see what happens next. This is it right here. This tells you. This tells you. People are going along to get along. Shout out to my boy Kwame Brown. Tell me what you think, black and white sports fans. Whoa. Wow. <laughs> the NFL hypocrisy further exposed right here. And this is a big one. Peace. I'm out. Till next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.